Hello, I'm Jason Carr, Technology Development Rep with Bayer Crop Science. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a trial that we conducted at our focus site in Roanoke, Illinois in Woodford County. In this trial, we planted a variety of seed treatments from the Acceleron Seed Applied Solutions platform. So we planted five different levels of seed treatment along with untreated beans. And we started this on April 9th and we planted every two weeks through June 18th. So I don't need to remind anyone how wet it was this spring and we really put those seed treatments to the test. So as we start to look at this data, one of the first things we see is we did not see a really large increase in yield in the earlier planting dates. Typically we would see a little more of a regular curve. In fact, if we look at our cumulus planting date data from the last two years from our focus sites across the state of Illinois, we see our maximum yields around mid to late April with a drop off in May and a greater drop off coming into June. So as you look at this graph, we have it on a 100% scale, so you don't see actual bushels per acre. The 100% would be the, mac the percent of maximum yield at that location in that year. So if we had three different planting dates, we would find, we would at that location in that year, we would look at the highest yielding one, that would be 100%, and the other two planting dates would be their corresponding percentage. So that allows us to take out the year and location effects. This is the same way that the University of Illinois presents their planting date graphs and this information is very consistent with what we see from them year after year. However, in this year we did not see that large increase from the early planting dates and a big reason for that was the extremely stressful conditions that the beans had to go through in early April or in mid-April as well as in May. The other thing we can then see when we look at this data is that seed treatments had a huge advantage, especially in those April planted beans. So you can see the yield differences here. We had um, in the April 23rd, we had a 16 bushel yield increase from the uh, treated average of the treated entries compared to the untreated beans. In fact, we flew a drone over our Roanoke site in June, and one of the first things that stood out was these big gaps that you can see here in the field where the stands were extremely poor, where the beans were untreated. And of course, that translated to yield, as we can see in this graph. We didn't see quite as big of a yield increase from the treated beans in the later planting dates, which is what we would expect because the, the conditions were much less stressful. The conditions were not as conducive to disease development, but we did see an advantage to the treatments even in the late mid-June planting. These data presented here are an aggregate of the seed treatments compared to the untreated. When we look at individual seed treatments, we see different responses based on different times throughout the year. Different seed treatments have different benefits. So if we look at something that has effectiveness against SDS like Alevo, obviously that's gonna pay a bigger benefit early in the season when we have some more stressful conditions and allow us to get the maximum yield benefit from the early planting.